In today's show, we're gonna look at how to create a sorting button in Power Apps. We're gonna make the button go from ascending to descending and vice versa. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the templates that they ship uh, for you to try things out with and break apart how they did it. Because I found for me, when I'm learning new skills in Power Apps, going and finding the functionality in an existing app and then figuring out how they did it helps me to learn new things. So that's what we're gonna look at here in this video. But before we do that, first, here's our intro. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras, those guys. In today's show, we're gonna talk about building that sort button. And to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the previous video, which is a link down below if you need it, uh, that we built our first app. We're gonna go and we're gonna edit that app to look at how the sort button that was built for us automatically actually works out. Should be pretty fun, should be a pretty short video as well, but it gives us a chance to introduce a couple new concepts that I promised we'd hit on in that video. So to do that, let's switch over here to my desktop. And the first thing I'm gonna do is log into Power Apps. I'm gonna say sign in. And after a couple of seconds, it's gonna pop up and I'm gonna go over here to my apps. And then there's Shane's YouTube video, right? That's the app we made together in the previous video. So I'm gonna hit the little buttons and I'm gonna say edit on the web. This is gonna open up a new tab for us and let us go in and start working with that app again. Okay, so in 15, 20 seconds or so of loading, here's my app. And remember, if we hit the preview button, we can just see that clearly we got my title one to six. And if I hit the little sort buttons that they gave us out of the box, it's gonna take and resort that and it's now nine, eight, seven, six, five, right? I have nine items in there, so pretty easy for you to figure out that the sort changed. And so every time you click the button, it's just toggling it. All right, so let's close out of that. So when I first looked at that, I thought, oh cool, they just created some type of magical sort button, right? That just says, sort my list, ascending, descending, and it should be simple. Well, it turns out that it's actually not that. So what I did was I went and I clicked on the button and so here you can see that it says update context. Okay, so we haven't covered it in a video yet, but update context is how you update a variable that is a context variable. It's just available on this particular screen, but go and set its value. And so what is it doing? So it's updating a variable, and the variable name is sort descending one. And so then you use colon, right? So that says set its value. So kind of instead of doing an equal sign, you're gonna say sort descending one with a colon. And then there is a exclamation part point and then our variable name. So what the exclamation point does is that toggles a variable to it's not. So what it's really saying is this is a Boolean variable, it's either true or false, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna set the value to the opposite. So if the variable is true, then not true is false. If the variable is false, then not true is true. Oh, that's very complicated, right? But it makes a lot of sense. And so before we look at how, what that does, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it easier for us to understand what I just said. So what I like to do on these type of scenarios, I'm gonna grab my app, and I'm gonna take our little list, I'm gonna slide him up a little bit, right? So we'll just show the first five, no problem, we know it scrolls. And then I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna say insert a label. Oh, let's go again, insert a label. And then I'm gonna grab it, and I'm just gonna drag it down here to the bottom. And so right now the text value is text. Well, I don't want that. What I want that to be is I'm just gonna start typing in sort and then there's descending one, that was the variable name that we just discussed. So put that in there, and so you can see it's currently false. So now if we preview our app, right, and this is how I figured it out, so it's currently false. If I hit the button, now a sort descending is true, see, right, and it changed true down here. If I hit this button again, false, true, false, true, right, you get the idea. But this is one of those things where you don't understand what's going on, and at first I didn't understand why there was an exclamation point in front of the variable, so I just put the value down there, pressed the button and saw what happened. And I saw it was just toggling the value from false to true. Pretty cool. All right, and we'll do a later video on variables and breaking them down in greater detail. But I thought that was a good one, introduction to show you kind of how a variable would work. All right, so now we know they're setting the variable to true or false. That's great, but how is that changing the order? So to look at that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and check out my gallery. So I'm gonna click on browse gallery over here on the left. And you can see that the items in the gallery are sorted by, right? And we did this in the previous video. So they're filtered by all that fun stuff. And then uh, there's title. But then you can also see if sort descending one, right? So there's an if statement here. So if sort descending one is true, right? That's what it's saying. So if that variable, and we know that's a true or false variable. So if it's true, then we're going to sort the list in a descending order. Else, so if it's not true, aka if it's false, then we're gonna sort the list ascending. 
So that's what's happening. When we're clicking this button, it's changing the value of sort descending one, the variable, between true and false. And this if statement is just saying, if it's true, then make it descending. If it's false, make it ascending. And so that's why having this value down here at the bottom, and then looking at this if statement, which I had never seen until I tried to do this the first time, made it make a lot more sense for me. So if you wanted to recreate your own uh, screen, right, because that's what we're trying to build to. We're trying to build to the point where we can make our own um, buttons without using the Microsoft templates here. There you go. We now know you need to have some type of button. In this case, we used an icon as a button to um, you know, toggle that particular behavior. And then we just use a variable stored inside of there. And then we have an if statement for the sort portion. So if one, then sort of descending. If not, uh, descending. So pretty straightforward stuff. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you. Like I said, I promise we'll do a variables video later, but I think that's enough for today. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below, or you can tweet me at Shane's Cows. If you need any help, you want help building your Power Apps, you want Power Apps training, that type of stuff, hit me up on Bold Zebras. So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. Just a reminder, if you don't mind, click the old subscribe button over here. That always helps me out. Or if you want to work together, you can always hit me up through the Bold Zebras. Or if really what you want is some more of these Power App videos, which is probably what you want, then the playlist is somewhere on the screen here. All right, thanks. Have a great day.